Today, we will learn about two origami projects, including the paper crane, and about Sadako Sasaki. Origami is Japanese for folding paper. There are distinct paper folding traditions in Europe, China, and Japan, but it is commonly associated with Japanese culture. In Japan, the earliest reference to a paper model or origami is in a short poem by Ihara Saikaku in 1680, which mentions a traditional butterfly design used during Shinto weddings. Sadako Sasaki was two years old and living in Hiroshima when the atomic bomb was dropped on August 6, 1945. Ten years later, she was diagnosed with radiation-related leukemia and admitted to the hospital during the first months of 1955. To pass the time, she was determined to create 1,000 paper cranes, an act which, according to local folklore, would grant her one wish. Sadako died only eight months later, but her story has served as an inspiration for harmony and peace ever since. This is some footage I got on a run lately to Peace Park, and this is a bronze sculpture of Sadako Sasaki that's there. It's surrounded by grass and rocks and other elements, and she's holding a large folded crane up to the sky and has a small smile on her face. And as you can see here, people frequently leave small tokens and also paper cranes on the sculpture. Since Sadako, the paper crane has come to be understood as a symbol of peace. And so when we see it, we can know that there are people out there who are wishing us and the world peace. Different run in a different spot, I came across this paper crane hanging from a tree. It really did feel like a blessing of peace from someone else. So there are multiple projects that I introduced in this video. There's an origami building where you can create a building of where you live and draw on the inside and outside. There's also how to make a paper crane or draw a paper crane using simple shapes. If you're younger or in the younger grades, this is probably a good spot for you to start out at. And if you're older too and wanna make this, that's totally fine too. This is totally appropriate for you if this is what you wanna make. Um, I will let you know a timestamp on this when is in the video that I make these two things. Um, this is a paper crane, which I also learn with you in this video. This may be a little more challenging, but if you're up for it, go for it. I'll give you a timestamp on when I make this too. I also show you how to, or demo, how to draw a paper crane from observation, which means looking at a paper crane in space as you draw it. Wherever you feel comfortable, whatever looks best to you, go ahead and give it a try. And whatever you make, I'm really excited to see it. All right, so to make a crane, you'll need a square piece of paper. To get that out of a piece of printer paper, which is a rectangle, you'll take this corner and you'll bring it over until this edge of the paper lines up perfectly with this edge of the paper. And this corner is a perfect point, And that will give you a square. So I'm making sure that this edge lines up perfectly, these two edges, and that there is a sharp point right here. Then I use my nail, just like with our um, zines, to make a nice sharp crease, kind of pushing out. Using my nail to make a nice sharp crease. Hi, Donkey. Who's your baby? He's asking for pets. It's uh, pet time. And then you will go ahead and cut off that excess using the line of this triangle piece as your ruler. Um, nice and steady. And 
And then with that piece, you can make a bookmark. And now we have a square piece of paper to make our paper crane. I actually went ahead and made two square pieces of paper because I may mess up one crane and I kind of want to just have one ready to go in case I need to restart. So that might be something you want to do. So I've made paper cranes before, but it's been a while and I've forgotten how. So I figured instead of teaching you, we can just learn together. So I pulled up a video um, that seems really helpful on how to make paper cranes and I'm going to follow along. And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause this video and go at your own pace. And I'll make sure to include a link of this in the video comment on our YouTube channel. All right, so what he's doing right now is folding his paper in half and then or into a triangle and cutting the excess off. So we've already done that. Paper off, just like that. And then when you open it back up, you have a perfect square. Cool. And then this is gonna be the first of your folds you're gonna wanna do. So I'll go ahead and illustrate this one. So that's our first fold, got it done. So like this fold, you're gonna wanna take the other corner and and fold it the other way. Just like that. Cool. So we'll fold it the other way. And again, see I'm kind of pushing out from the point so that crease gets nice and sharp. Use my nail. And then now you want to flip it over and you're going to fold it now into in half the other way. So it looks like flip it over to where the fold lines are kind of towards the top. And then you're going to want to flip it in half um, to where it looks like a rectangle. To basically two rectangles. rectangle again the other way. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. Okay, so those folds, if we did it correctly, should kind of be facing the other way of the angled folds. So if you see, that's kind of like that. At this point, you're going to want to tilt it like that. And in these two folds right here, it's going to kind of naturally want to come together. And you want to fold along those edges and bring these two points inward down to the bottom. And then when you do that at the top, pull those crease down just like that. So then now you have the square, basically they're kind of like four okay. um, little triangular flanges coming out. Um, and then you want to always keep the, the flaps on the bottom. Okay. And then now for the flaps on the bottom. So all this open stuff ah, on the bottom towards you and then the point that's stuck together away from you. Next step, uh, once you get that creased real good, you're gonna wanna take this corner right here, this edge, and match it along the center crease you have right here. Just, my... just, just fold these in. Okay. Cool, let's try that. When I do that, sometimes the uh, bottom down here can get a little tricky. So just be careful of that. 
kind of pinch that down first and then do the rest. Maybe you already know how to make paper cranes. I bet some of you do. Okay. And then once you do that, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Be so quick. So now, we're going to um, do it. Go ahead and open up all four sides. I'm going to illustrate all these for you. Okay. So now opening up fold there, those sides. Fold there. Opening up these sides on the back too. Fold there. Right there. And the crease we did right on top. Cool. And so now, go ahead and illustrate the inside. It's getting tricky. Just like that. So you have to fold it like this. And when you did that, also fold the inside. Which then what you want to do is take this bottom flap and push it up and crease it right there where this fold is. And then on the two inside creases, basically uh... fold those in. Crease the bottom. And then just kind of let this fold together into a crease just like that. Cool. So I definitely see why he said that crease up here helps. Because it lets you know where the paper needs to fold back. Take this slow. Okay. And before you smush this down to get it folded, just make sure that everything's landing on those pieces that you already made. Um, which can be tricky. Okay. All right. So crease that triangle the other way. And open it up. And on these two folds right here. Oh, cool. Fold those in. And let this all just kind of fall together. Just like that. Crease it real good. And once you have that, you can see the uh, split part down at the bottom. Keep that there. And uh, now what you're gonna wanna do is take the... Okay. I'm still working. <laughs> okay. Nice and flat. Nail. Show you kind of what it should look like. <gasps> I see it coming together. Okay. The corner edges and this right here and fold it into the center just like this okay maybe you notice this but as he's doing that the spot that has the open edges is facing towards him I missed that um and then the closed edges are the, the triangles that don't have that opening are facing this way away from you Paper's getting a little thick, so just take your time. Make sure those little areas down here 
kind of help that bend. I'll say it kind of just clumps. Just kind of putting my finger there to help it bend. A crease right here already that that let you know where to fold up and now inverting he means Side, I guess. Pinch it in. I would struggle with that. Just like that. Oh. And there you have it. You have a origami crane. Cool! That was fun! That's actually, that video is really helpful. I've done it different ways before and I feel like it didn't come out as nice. Um, I think making the creases really sharp and pausing the video when you need to, and having a second crane ready in case one is just frustrating you and you want to start fresh is a good idea. But I'm excited to see your crane. I'm gonna hang mine. All right, to make our origami house, you're gonna start with a regular piece of printer paper, a construction paper, rectangle piece of paper, and you're gonna fold it hamburger style, just like this. A nice sharp crease. I say hamburger style, what does that mean? Hot dog style is when they're long and narrow like this, or when you fold it long and narrow. Because it looks like a hot dog. Hamburger style is when you fold it to where it looks a little shorter and wider because it looks a little more like a hamburger. So you're gonna fold it hamburger style. Then you are going to fold again over to where it's another hamburger style, just a mini one. Uh, the paper gets a little thicker right here because it's uh, already folded. So just be patient with it and make sure you don't kind of smash it, but really make sure that it's a nice sharp crease. There you go. So you open it back up to your original full-size hamburger. 
And then you bring each edge. So you're gonna bring both of these edges, but one at a time to that center crease that you made. Excuse me. Okay. And to make your roof, here's what you're gonna do. Can you see this? Yeah. Open it up. Just spread these out. So I'm opening up just one layer of paper and keeping the other layer from that fold I just made over here. And it will turn into a roof. Just like that. So now let's try this side. Bring the paper into the center. Fold. Be nice and slow with my crease. And I have four layers of paper right here. I take just one of those layers, bring it over, and the roof starts to naturally form. And then when the papers are totally flat, when these sides are totally flat against the table, I will push down where that roof had formed to make a nice final crease. And ta-da! You have your house um, or apartment building or whatever is home to you. I'm going to start to decorate my house. Do I got any crayons in here? No. I'm gonna use some marker. This will probably be a little more visible for you anyways. Um, so I live where a bunch of other people live. So I'm gonna make my doors tinier because it's not just um, a house. So I'm gonna make them look a little smaller. You can make them look bigger if you want. And I'm gonna put a bunch of windows because a bunch of people live here. Let's see, what else could I add? There's some bushes outside at the base of the building. People park on the side of the road. So I'm gonna make a car. Cool. Um, the building's called Conrad, has a name. So I might put the Conrad up here. Maybe I'll make shingles. So I'll do some horizontal lines. Some vertical lines. It turns it into shingles. Cool. I'm gonna add some more windows over here. if you want. You can do whatever you want to this house, but here's here's mine. And then on the inside, there's an inside. You can fold it open. And create what you would like on the inside. Maybe you draw the people that you are with right now. Um, maybe you draw people that you're really excited to see when you can again. And what I'm going to draw now is 
a paper crane on the inside of my building to bring peace to everyone who lives here. I put my building by my building's mailboxes so people can come and read the note. It said, peace with you. Some other people have left notes too. So there's two ways you can draw a paper crane. One is if you have a paper crane or if you look up pictures of a paper crane online, you can draw from observation. So either looking at the crane or draw from looking at the picture. Um, I'm gonna show you first just how to draw a simple paper crane um, using basic shapes. So if you start, you can start by making a square Doop. that's kind of the body right here. Then you're going to make a really tall roof on this square um, using a triangle. I like to start out my triangles by like kind of deciding where the point is going to be right there, kind of in the middle of the square, high up. So I sort of have a visual to where I'm trying to go. So I start here and I know I'm going here. So that helps me keep my line straight and know where I want to end up. Same thing over here. I'm going here. Ta -da! Perfect. So that is this part of the wing. Then the tail is a long triangle that's kind of angled out. So again, I'm going to put a little point where I want to end up. And I go there. Yep. Cool. And then a long skinny triangle right here to right here. Shoot. Cool. Then the head is roughly the same thing on the other side, or the neck and head. The only difference is there's a little bit of an angle right here. Ta-da! You have a paper crane. After you get to this point, if you want to add details, like that little angle that you see right there, you can kind of draw that in. Um, there's a line that goes right here. There's some folds right here. So you can kind of do a mixture of drawing from observation and also the way I showed you just now. Paper crane. Um, from observation means looking at an actual object in space as a 3D thing and then drawing it as a 2D thing on a piece of paper. Um, so I'm going to do that now. So this requires you to kind of look back and forth a lot because you want to make sure that you're not just drawing what you think you see, but what's actually there, if this is the type of drawing that you want to do. Tail. Singing helps me concentrate. Cool. It's kind of a sketchy, cool paper crane. Gives it more of a 3D look. So those are both ways to draw a paper crane. Um, maybe with our mural lesson, you could make a mural of drawn paper cranes and put them in a window and maybe hanging from the top of the window that could be actual paper cranes. That'd be really cool. Um, or maybe you make a bunch of paper cranes and poke a little hole in the top of the, uh, the back and hang them from trees or from branches that you see around your neighborhood to bring peace to the people in your community. Whatever you choose to create, I hope what you can take away from this is how can you express your own sense of peace and share a wish of peace upon other people with what you create? 
Much love. I wish you peace and have a good week.